When is this going to take place? Anytime, anytime, anytime soon. It's going to take place anytime. It's closer than it's ever been. It's closer than it's ever been. And I explained to you from the scriptures that the church of Jesus Christ was given two days. And I said, that means 2,000 years. The, the, the information from the scripture is so abundantly clear. It's, you'll have to, you'll have to, maybe someone will have to pay you not to see it. You see, because those scriptures are, are just so sharp and so clear. Now, here is something that is very important. When we are caught up from this world, who will be taken away? All those who are in Christ Jesus, who are alive and remain. 17th verse, good. It says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Alive and remain. Jesus said, he says, if you're not fruit bearing, the father cuts you off. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So in your Christian life, you should what? Bring forth fruit. So from this day, make up your mind, you will be a fruit bearing branch, period. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. How are you doing today? Quickly, I want us to look at this, you know, this confusion has been there it is not something that um is new and the problem the reason why people keep doing this is just the same thing that we are uh, talking about i'm going to look at a video of a young man who predicted that the rapture and the end of the world was going to happen on the 25th of april 2024 and today is 28th his name is prophet beto he is from nigeria a lot of persons have you know, uh, been reacting to this. Even also one of the first prophets in Kenya, Owo, also had warned people that the guy happens to be a free rider, that nobody should give him attention. You can imagine that. Now, we, this is not the first time, like I said, but I won't begin to wonder why people keep doing this, why people keep doing this. This has been on as early as, um, you know, AD 300, uh, we have seen all kinds of persons, even scientists, not just pastors, scientists, uh, you know, Catholic bishops and priests, and what have you, even at some point in time, animals have been used to predict the end of the world. Scientists have used to what they term as, in, in their knowledge, to predict how the end of the world was imminent, and that has not happened. In this video, we will also see Pastor Chris and uh, Prophet Hubert Angel who have, you know, combined in a way to give us a timeline on when the rapture would happen. But we are looking at Prophet Metu. The name of his church is Nogri for Satan. That is the name of his church. Anyway, let us listen to him. And don't be in a hurry to go because after the rapture did not come to pass, he came out and told us what he did and what is happening to his life now. All are in this video. Don't go away. But first and foremost, hear him make the predictions. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, Give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. By the 25th of April, the world is going to end. If you like, take this serious. If you don't like, don't take it serious. But this is real. Rapture is coming on 25th of April 2024. I saw it very clear. Do you understand? I saw the date very clear and the Lord ministered to me. It mentioned it twice. It has happened twice. Do you understand? So I saw myself in a trance and I saw two mountains. Do you understand? Everything was clear. I don't really know how to explain this, but man, it's real. My brother up is real. I'm even afraid right now. I don't really know what to do. But if you have not prepared yourself for the rapture, please start preparing yourself now. It's real. It's real. 
if you read your bible very well you know that every science that is stated that you know is going to happen before the end of the world has come to pass so it's only remaining one thing which is the rapture and as i'm talking to you right now i've gotten this vision twice 25th of april go and mark your calendar mark your calendar and start preparing yourself all right that was him there and you know to show you how certain he was about what he saw he didn't just make that first prediction that first statement he came out and doubled down on it and warned everybody not to joke with this he said he claimed he saw it twice and so he gave the warnings as several times as possible yes this is not a joke this is reality rapture is coming prepare yourself the message was very clear and the dates is also very clear 25th of april 2024 rapture is coming the world has come to an end that is just reality i've seen a lot of reactions and comments on social media but it doesn't really matter what matters is that you have to prepare yourself prepare yourself the message was very clear it's not for me to fine tune it for you to be happy or for you to like it but it's to say as i got it do you understand is to pass the message as i got it and that is what i have done so prepare yourself this is not a joke rapture is coming the world is coming to an end my name is prophet metu now but um, unfortunately he is not the only person and coming back to the other videos now he's not the only person that has given us or given the world and some persons reasons to worry about I remember when I was growing up in the 90s, I think that was at the 90 or 1992. I don't know if that is also in the list I have. I'm going to read some list out to you that, uh, you know, people were inundated with the thoughts and the fear that the end was coming. I was young. I think that should be 1990. Was it 1990 or 89? I cannot remember then. I can't remember anymore, but it was when I was, I was still you know very much younger and i remember my mom talking about that the bible has told us that nobody knows the time so when people were afraid i was a kid though uh, not 90 not 90 it's not 90 because no it's not 90 that should be in uh, 80 86 it's 788 or thereabouts it should be around 86 yeah not 1990 but I think there was also a prediction in 1990. But then I remember my mom in those days telling me, you know, talking about uh, people being foolish, that the Bible has told us nobody knew the time and not even the Son of Man knows, not knew, not even the angels of heaven, you know, know the time. Uh, so, so with that, I wasn't even perturbed and that time came and went and some persons started to sell their businesses so many people auctioned their houses and they sold their houses and my question was when i when i became you know i, I a, a, a bit older i was asking you sold your business because you thought that the end of the world was coming what did you do with the money did you bank the money or you were going to go to heaven with the money or you spent it you ate it in your belly i really don't understand some persons sold their houses it is foolishness all right now let's 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 just look at this um first among the list that i have here first on the list of uh 10 failed doomsday predictions you know uh, that i have here is a uh, 2012 maya apocalypse december 21 2012 marked the end of the first great cycle of the maya long count calendar Many misinterpreted this to mean an absolute end to the calendar, which tracked time continuously from a date 51 25 years earlier. And the doomsday predictions emerged. End of the world scenarios included the Earth colliding with an imaginary planet called Nibiru, giant solar flares, a planetary alignment that would cause massive tidal catastrophes and a realignment of Earth's axis preparations for the end of the world as we know it included a modern day noah's ark built by a man in china and extensive sales of survival kits harold campion 
Among the most prolific modern predictors of end times, Harold Camping has publicly predicted the end of the world as many as 12 times, based his uh, interpretations of biblical numerology. In 1992, he published a book ominously titled 1994, which predicted the end of the world sometime around that year. Perhaps his most profile, high profile pred predication was a prediction was for May 21, 2011, a date that he calculated to be exactly 7,000 years after the biblical flood. When that date passed without incident, he declared his math to be off and pushed back the end of the world to October 21, 2011. Now, unfortunately, people will do this, they will fail, and shamelessly, they will actually have, others will back out and have something to say that happened and others will continue. Now, this is man's quest. This is that thing that we'll talk about. Hey, some, 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 some modern day preachers bandy what they call, mod, uh, you know, the progressive nature of knowledge in the word of God. I'm not talking about, you know, mundane knowledge, of course, that is progressive, but the word of God stays sacrosanct. There is no mutation. There is no changing of the word of God. He happens to be a pastor and did this for 12 times. All right. And number eight, true way. Taiwanese religious leader Hong Min Chen established Chen Tao or true way, a religious movement that blended elements of Christianity, Buddhism, UFO conspiracy theories and Taiwanese folk religion. Chen preached that God would appear on US television Channel 18 on March 2025, 1988. I think this may be it. This may be it. To announce that he would descend to earth the following week in a physical form identical to Shen. The following year, he, profess he prophesied millions of devil spirits together with massive flooding would result in a mass extinction of the human population. Followers could be spared by buying their way up aboard spaceships disguised as clouds sent to rescue them. So these um, religious scammers have been in existence, you know, for a very long time. Number seven, Halley's Comet Panic. Halley's Comet passes by the Earth approximately every 76 years, but the nearness of its approach in 1910 created fear that it would destroy the planet, either by a celestial collision or through the poisonous gases it was rumored to contain. A worldwide panic ensued, stoked by the media and such newspaper headlines as Comet may kill all at life, says scientists. A group in Oklahoma tried to sacrifice a virgin to ward off impending doom and bottled air became a hot commodity. The air probably did pass through part of the Comet's tail board with no apparent effect. Can you imagine? So this this um, you know blindness also is not only in in Africa because some of us think that it is only in Africa that they do all these blood rituals and oh hey but the, when we talk about child sacrifice, it is rife in the place that so many of you are. Millerism. Religious leader William Miller began preaching in 1831 that the end of the world as we know it would occur with the second coming of Jesus Christ in 1843. He attracted as many as 100,000 followers who believed that they would be carried off to heaven when the date arrived. When the 1843 prediction failed to materialize, Miller recalculated and determined that the world would actually end in 1844. Follower Henry Emmons wrote, I waited all Tuesday and dear Jesus did not come. I lay prostrate for two days without any pain, sick, without any pain, sick with disappointment. You get it now? Now, the danger of this thing that is happening is that, you know, I put up a video that we are becoming a joke. And this is part of that joke that people are trying to make Christianity look like. Because younger generations of people who are being introduced to faith will laugh at you when you tell them that Jesus is coming. They will ask you, was it the one that was predicted or another one? 
and they will ask him how long will it take him to come but then the truth is that the unbelief of people will not actually stop jesus from coming but these guys are not doing you know helping matters at all now joanna south court beginning when she was 42 years old joanna south court reported hearing voices that predicted future events including the crop failures and famines of 1799 and 1800 she began publishing her own books and eventually developed a following of as many as hundred thousand believers in 1813 she announced that in the following year she would give birth to the second messiah whose arrival would signal the last days of the earth despite being 64 years old and as she told her doctors a virgin she died before a baby could be born Number four, the prophet hen of Leeds. <laughs> in 1806, a domesticated hen in Leeds, England, appeared to lay eggs, inscribed with the message, Christ is coming. Great numbers of people reportedly visited the hen and began to despair of the coming judgment day. It was soon discovered, however, that the eggs were not in fact prophetic messages, but the work of their owner who had been writing on the eggs in corrosive ink and reinserting them into the poor hen's body. Wow! Great Fire of Eid of London. Because the Bible calls 666 the number of the beast, many Christians in 17th century Europe feared the end of the world in the year 1666. The Great London Fire, which lasted from September 2 to September 5 of that year, destroyed much of the city, including its seven parish churches and about 13,000 houses. Many saw it as a fulfillment of the end of the world prophecy, giving such a large amount of property damage, though the death toll of the fire was remarkably low. Reportedly, only 10 people, not quite the end of the world. The Great Flood. Uh, this number two. Johannes Stoffler, a respected German mathematician and astrologer, predicted that a great flood would cover the world on February 25, 1524, when all of the known planets would be in alignment under pieces, a water sign, a water sign. Hundreds of pamphlets announcing the coming flood were issued and set in motion. A general panic count, von Eglheim, a German nobleman, went so far as to build a, a three-story arc. Though there was light rain on the day of the predicted flood, no actual flood materialized. Now, number one, Montanism. Montanism, a second century uh, schismatic movement of Christianity began in Phrygia, modern Turkey, based on the visions of Montanus who claimed to speak under the influence of the Spirit. Montanists believe the second coming of Christ to be imminent. Many Christian communities were almost abandoned when believers left their homes and migrated to a plain between the two free villages of Pepusa and Timion in Phrygia, where Montanus claimed the heavenly Jerusalem would descend to earth. Now, so, with all this that we have seen, it is obvious that God cannot be outsmarted. And because God is king, he reveals to human what he wants. And um, he hasn't actually revealed to any man the timing or the time that he will come. The only thing that we have is that Jesus gave us the signs that when we begin to see them, he even told us that the end of the world has not come. But just merely for the fact that we are seeing those signs, but those are the signs, the beginning of the end. So, and you see, God is a patient God. These signs that we are seeing today did not just start today, but that it, those are the, when it started. For instance, when the first earthquake, for instance, occurred, yeah, and Jesus predicted that there will be earthquake. Now, when the first, very first earthquake occurred. When you know war began to take place on earth, of course, people have been fighting wars. But then, when it become it became so much that everywhere there is war now. There are, it hardly you see a continent that 
don't have war, that doesn't have war, you know, um, or that has not had war, or presently dealing with something, you know, that that is near to war. Uh, Israel is at war with the Palestinians, is at war with Iran, and there are people around them, surrounding them, you know, attacking them, Russia and Ukraine. And uh, you come to Africa, there are, you know, militia attacks here and there, almost everywhere. Now, kingdoms rising against kingdom, nation against nations. So, it is basically the sign of Jesus never told us that immediately we see this pin that the end will come. Now, there are things that Jesus mentioned that must happen. And when those things happened, then we would begin to immediately expect the coming of the Messiah. But then, Prophet Matthew predicted, he gave his predictions that did not work. And guess what he did? He came out and he told the whole world that he fasted for 21 days and God decided to have mercy. Look at it here. So, the predictions did not work. Now, how is it that the same God who told him this thing twice and he in the first video that you saw told everybody that that is the end of it, that is it. And when was it that he even put out the prophecy in the first place? Is it up to 21 days? Is it up to 21 days? I doubt. It wasn't up to 21 days. And now because the thing had backfired, the thing failed. Suddenly, he has fasted. Was he fasting even before God gave him the revelation? And that is another thing. Now, you begin to ask yourself again, beyond ignorance or manipulation, satanic manipulation, you know, why are people doing things like this? Is it because they want to trend? Because of course, he has become popular. And unfortunately, in negative, you know, sense of it. Because, you know, people will always be people. People, according to him, are beginning to attack him. And so he is asking for the government of Lagos State to protect him because his life is in danger. Yeah, my name is Prophet Metsu. Um, please, I'm calling on the government of Lagos State, Governor Sanwolu. Please, I need security. Since the day, since after I gave the prophecy of the rapture that was supposed to happen on the 25th of April, I've been receiving calls, I've been receiving messages, death threats here and there. And even yesterday, I was attacked on my way to my worship center yesterday. I, I don't really know what to do again because I can't even leave my house. Just leaving to my worship center, some guys attacked me. So I'm calling on all the big blogs in Nigeria, Tunded North, Gossip Mill, Insta Blog, Blackstone Niger, help me share this message. I want it to get to the authorities, please. I need security. My life is already in danger right now. I just gave a message. The way I the vision I got from the Lord and I gave the message the way it is and everything went the way it was I announced everything even the prayer that we did everything was announced I don't know why anybody will come to attack me I don't even know why anybody should go after someone like that because uh, is an obvious fulfillment of the scriptures Jesus told us that even a time is coming when people will tell you that he Jesus is in such and such place and that Jesus is in such and such place, he said you should not go. Ah, these things must come to pass, these things must happen. Remember that the Lord told us that, uh, you know, the gospel of the kingdom must be preached all over the world as a witness, as a witness against the world. Then shall the, uh, the, the end come. Now, other persons, that you know who are popular that have delved into this and they have also calculated like the past people who calculated and failed pastor chris has given us a timeline and he has pegged it between you know three six a maximum of 10 years listen to pastor chris or had he said three thousand years
we would know we have one more thousand years to go. How do you say 2,500? We would know we have more time to go. How close we've got. Let me show you that timeline one more time and just explain three options. Remember, the rapture itself does not have a sign. In other words, it can happen anytime, anytime. But we have a final place beyond which it cannot go. That's why I have those lines there for you. Grab on any time. But then would have, had it happened somewhere here, would have had to wonder what will be happening all this time. Because he will not return until after two days. You see that? So you have been wondering so all those years after what would have been happening. We don't know. But sure enough, it seems much more like somewhere here, somewhere here. Because all this is already passed. We're somewhere around here. Count it yourself. We said the other day, if you, if you take that day when he walked out of the temple as 30 AD, some have said, 29 AD, I said, if you take the range of 4 BC to 2 BC for his birth, somewhere you will come to the range of what we said. And if we're just taking an average and we come to 30 AD, 2000 from there will come to 2030. And from now, from 2020 to 2030 is 10 years, which means that it cannot exceed 10 years before the man of sin is revealed because you have seven years either after that now, here's, here are the three options. Seven years, either after or within or across. <laughs> Do you understand? If it is after, then you have, before he comes back will be seven plus 10. That's 17 years. Before Jesus comes back, seven for the tribulation. 10 years before the Antichrist shows up. You see that? So 17 years in all, and Jesus shows up if it is after. If it is inside, you have three years before he shows up. If it is across, you have six and a half years before he shows up. But because 2020 has gone past six months already, <laughs> you're in September, that means you have just six years. Which means if it doesn't happen in three years, it might be six. If it doesn't happen in six, cannot exceed 10. Cannot exceed 10. There have been lots of speculations by different people before. And um, if you have followed care carefully the scriptures that I've showed you, you will understand immediately why it didn't happen when some thought it would, okay? Because I gave you several scriptures and I gave you evidences from his teachings and also direct prophecies for you to understand it's 2,000 years. And obviously the two days were not two 24 hour days, they were 2,000. And the third one was 1,000 because three days passed after the prophet spoke. And of course the prophet knew that was not the time, you know. So you look at the word and you have more than enough evidence more than enough evidence how short the time is for us to do all the things we got to do and it will let you understand why these guys they say 2030 is the year that they must have everybody vaccinated and everybody chipped 2030 is the goal by gavi and mit think about it moving away from pastor chris Oyakilome, his spiritual song Hubert angel you know it seems like Whatever Chris says, Hubert must say to back it up. Whatever Chris does, Hubert must also do the same. So Hubert had also taught in that line and, uh, you know, making it look like a mixture of prophetic knowledge and biblical knowledge. Here was what Hubert Angel said and the time that they gave us about the coming of the Lord Jesus. Out 19, 2048. Remove seven years. Now you are left with what? 2000 and what? And 41. Now you realize that we started calculating that AD 0, 0 or 1 is the time Jesus was born. No, it was AD 4. That means we are wrong by six years. So reduce six years from 2048. For 41. 2037. Now notice one thing that he said. Again, the scriptures before that. Let's go back to the scripture. So we are, we are on 2000 what? 37. Let's go back a little bit to where we started these scriptures. And it shall appear the sign of the Son of Man. When you saw, see, let's go. Uh, 31. Quickly. All right, the trumpet and then heaven and then let's go. Now the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Now we have a problem. Now he's talking about putting forth leaves. He's not talking about the time it starts. You didn't hear. That means 2048 or 1948 is when they, it was established that Israel is becoming a nation. But it is 
few years before that, that it became a nation before being confirmed. So it says when he starts putting forth leaves, you now know it's about to become a what? A real plant in, 2004, in 1948. That means we have to go back to almost the time when the negotiations between Rothschild and Britain started, where they were now talking about, let's, we'll give you money to fight Germany, and, and if you make Israel a nation. Then we realized it was at least five to six years before that. Then we removed six years from, now we are left with 2001. Huh? 29. 31. Okay. 2031 from 2022. Nine years. You're getting the idea. Now you're looking at me. You didn't know how they calculate this thing. Hey. I don't. I'm not like that. Uh -huh. I left with nine years to fix yourself. That is, if it doesn't come for you tonight. 2029. Okay, 41 minus 6, this, and then minus 6. 2029. This is 2001. 22. Please, 7 years. Now, having shown you all this, you see, if we put into perspective, the fact because one should begin to look at what is the timeline of the rapture in the first place now what are the things that must take place we have you know um three categories of opinions and belief of the time that the rapture and the antichrist will take place there is a popular opinion believed by so many people i don't know more than 50 60 percent of preachers and churches appreciating it that the the antichrist will not meet the church here and sometimes they erroneously interpret you know the scripture that says that you know he that let it will be taken out of the way in Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses seven and eight, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So you know, people tend to interpret this he that let it to mean the church. And I think that it would be wrong to assign a masculine gender to the church. The church is usually, you know, identified as, you know, with a feminine uh, gender pronoun as a chi because of her capacity to expand. But that be it as it may. Now, whatever timeline it is, it's not even as important as, as being ready. And also, there are those that believe that the church will be evacuated before the antichrist will come there are those that believe that the church will be here antichrist will be here but mid reign in the middle of the reign of the antichrist the church will be raptured then there are those that believe that you know the church will be here the antichrist will have his reign for seven years and after that he will be defeated and jesus will establish his kingdom here on earth now, but the truth is that if you ask me i don't see god evacuating the church i don't see god sending a chariot or an aeroplane to elite the church before the antichrist comes so majority of the people who are giving this prediction around this time no, you know number one some of them are actually false prophets they are false teachers and some of them are attention seekers and some of them are those that are genuinely deceived by another spirit by another spirit and in order to you know use that to kind of make nonsense of the the word of god and they as they, they believe that jesus is coming because when we keep doing this the next thing will be when is he even coming but the bible tells us that the fact that he tarries does not mean that he is not coming very soon the coming lord will come and shall not tarry so i want you to understand that uh, you know no matter how bad it is 
no matter how strange it might seem, Jesus definitely will come. And I want to uh, you know, plead with you to you know, hold on to your faith. Don't let anybody deceive you. This also goes further to cement the fact that the word of God is true. When the Lord says, nobody knows the time, he meant nobody knows the time. And, you know, it is not anybody's business to know when the Lord God has committed into his power, when he shall destroy the world and, you know, build a new world. I want you to understand that the truth remains that God's, I, I, you know, I, ideal plan for human, for the, the world that he created in the Garden of Eden, God will still actualize that. And that is when wickedness shall be no more and there shall be humans you know those that will live to love god and to worship him in spirit and in truth when there will be no more competition you know uh from the devil who is always an arch enemy of god and being an arch enemy of god he is working so hard to see that he discredits the bible and makes it look like the coming of jesus is a joke it's not a joke People are turning themselves to jokers, but the word of God remains sacrosanct. Thank you so much and God bless you. Let's know what you think about the video in the comment section. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Until then, we remain rapturable from me to you. Shalom.